y'all welcome back to my channel so this is the start of this week's weekly vlog um i just took a break from editing um this week's video um yeah it's the review on the makeup by mario foundation so if you have not seen that video yet i highly recommend you check that out i will link it right here for y'all click the little i don't know if y'all really be clicking them things sometimes i pay attention to the little numbers to say how many cards was clicked on or whatever but click on the day you're gonna call it right here sorry i put that in the intro before the intro but it is what it is but stay tuned with me for this week's weekly vlog um what do we have to do this week um i'm supposed to be going on a little a date zate whatever i ain't really feeling it uh, i'm supposed to go see the megan movie with that little doll baby shit you know i don't really i don't really do shit like that that's like really out of my comfort zone or whatever but i'm supposed to be going to see that um i'm supposed to i have like regular errands to run would it be an erica vlog without a trip to target i don't think so um i do have to go to target one day this week um i have a hibachi date well, that's not a date. That's just like a gathering with some work friends. Um, I have that on Friday. Um, Y'all might get to see them. Um, what else? It's the first week of the year. Um, I'm supposed to go start the gym this week, but I don't think I'm going to start this week. I don't want to look like those people that just like start the gym because it's the new you. Because, bitch, y'all finna see me. <laughs> y'all finna see my ass mm, don't think i'm just one of them that's just only here for the first week mm -mm. we getting fine we getting fine this year y'all so yeah stay tuned for me this week for all my shenanigans i love doing the little hearts again now that my nails is big clickety clackety yeah mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> Okay, y'all. So, let's just talk for a minute because I just feel like talking. Um, So, yeah, it's Tuesday. I took a little break from filming, like I just said. Um, I didn't really do nothing today. I just worked. Um, Today was my first day back at work since the little holiday break or whatever. Uh, um, I'm really trying to... Because I, I be, like, really hard on myself. I don't know if y'all have ever noticed that. I'm extremely hard on myself. Um so we're working on that like um anytime i feel like beating myself up i just say like little positive things to myself things that i wrote down in my journal you know like sometimes i like send myself a text anything to just like perk myself up you know because if i don't do it who's gonna you know what i mean so today um you know i just kept telling myself you know you're so blessed you know like everything's going out going out, going so well for you you know just little reminders throughout my damn day or whatever so yeah that was today um i did i just took a break from editing the video the mario video and i like i don't know y'all y'all puzzle me this let me see if y'all y'all have this same i don't want to say it's a dilemma but let me see if y'all do the same thing. So, I literally just grew up overnight. I literally just... So, I'm turning 25 years old this year. Um, Y'all know, I'm not... I don't want to say I'm, like, super big on, like, horoscopes and stuff. But I'm kind of into the horoscopes or whatever. So, you know, um... Um... According to my chart or whatever, you know, this is my Jupiter year. It's in the second house, whatever, however you. Um, so, you know, it's my Jupiter year. And your Jupiter year is said to be, like, super lucky and things like that. So, you know, I don't want to, like, put too much on it because, you know, I, I'm... Oh, shit. Not only... I believe in, you know, like, stuff like that. But, you know, I'm also religious. So, you know, like, you know, whatever God has in store for me it's in store for me and also not to mention like not to take to like discredit myself because like 
anything that I done did, I done prayed for, I done worked for, you know, like no one sees me like behind the scenes, like when I'm down and out, like really crying, really praying, really, you know, like working on the shit to get to like where I am. So, you know, like all that luck and stuff aside, like, you know, of course, you know, I believe in luck and stuff like that, like, of course, but I don't want to like discredit myself and my hard work that I've put in to like get everything that I'm so blessed to have. And I also don't want to discredit you know, God blessing me because I be getting on his nerve. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I kind of just like realized, like, I kind of, I kind of grew up on number one. So I told y'all I'm getting back here in the June. Like, I told y'all that. But, girl, my thighs is fucking fine right now. And y'all know I'm like celibate at the moment. Um, like for real um i did it all last year i'm gonna do it i oh, want no not all last year i forgot last year it was just 2022 i did it all 2021 and i'm doing it again like i'm getting back on my celibacy journey um but yeah my thighs are dying and i'm like lord um am i finally get my grown woman shape like you know the girls is like you know, you don't start seeing your shape and stuff like that till you like 25 for approaching 30. And I was like, bullshit, hell. But oh my God, it's true. Like, but you know, I ain't saying that you know, I ever been like a bad built bitch. Like, I always had a shape, you know, I had a little extra love in different areas. Like, you know, like my the shape I always been there, bitch. Yes, you did it about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always had like a shape waist always been there you know what i'm saying but like i really just like saw a difference so not only am i starting to see like real physical changes in myself but i'm also but i'm also seeing like real emotional changes in myself like noticing a real difference noticing a real difference in how i let things bother me noticing how just noticing like how different shit really is you get what i'm saying so and how i'm like reacting to things like bitch i am growing the hell up i don't know if i'm just like emotionally exhausted which i probably am you know i'm probably a little emotionally dehydrated you know but it's like fuck like, I just woke up and was like, this morning, I was like, damn, Erica, you are not 19 anymore. And it's just crazy to me, like, because uh, number one, I ain't even think that I would live to be this age. So it's like, it's like, just like, it's so crazy to see, like, you know, like, me really, like, entering adulthood, like... Ain't gonna lie, it's kind of scary. <laughs> it's, it's different. It's different for sure. Like, it's different, like, being in charge and, like, not being in charge, but you know what I mean? Like, making your own choices versus, you know, like, someone making your choices for you. And, you know, you being in control of your own destiny. You know? Not to be deep or whatever, but... <laughs> Shit just different as fuck. <laughs> But I can't, I can't go on like not acknowledging the difference and shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's just crazy to me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's the new moon that's approaching on the 6th. That got me feeling away, but... Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay guys so here we are at hibachi um i had looked crazy i had no makeup on haircut was falling down it wasn't giving what it was supposed to be gave in but i had smoke before i had went in there i was on my pen so i was feeling good i didn't even realize my sweater messed up but it's okay i had lots of good drinks Y'all know the little broth that comes with your hibachi or whatever. I did not eat the salad. Here's my coworkers, y'all. Um, yeah, so 
Y'all know I just love the little fire or whatever. The heat feels so good. I just That's need okay. to jump inside with, with my, you know, my impulsive thoughts be making me just want to touch that fire. I don't know why. But anyway, yeah, that's that's just it. Um, I got this really bad angle of me at this video. I wish I could really like hear the joke that was said, but it was really bad. Well, so yeah, also, and I'm one of those people like, I, I need this food separated. Don't be piling everything up on top of each other. And I don't eat that sauce. I don't want no ginger. I don't want no white sauce. I don't want no ginger. And I feel like separated. Like, put my rice here, my chicken here, my filet over here, my vegetables over there. I don't like all that stuff on top of each other. It just be making me like real. I, I just, I just can't do it. I cannot. I tried. I can't. I cannot. <laughs> So I just got home um, from Jap and everything. I've been on the pan. I'm so hungry. So I gotta eat my leftovers right now. And also, Jap ain't too good in this place. Or maybe I'm reheating while I don't know. But I got a filet mignon and some chicken and rice. So, yeah. Like, once I hit that pin, I'll be so hungry. I'll be so ready. I feel like I got to hit the pin for you, Japanese now. One rich, one just well, we're off to get a massage. Come on, it's been such a day, you guys. It has been such a day. Just such a goddamn day. Oh, how much? Okay, sweet. All right, y'all. So, I am getting ready to go to the movies, but honestly, I was supposed to be ready like 10 minutes ago, but yeah, as you can see, this is where we at. <laughs> um, I'm really just like not, I'm not enthused, I'm not enthused, but I'm about to set my camera up, um, and I'm going to finish my makeup with y'all, um. And I guess I out there some more like when I get there and like on the way or whatever. Like, I don't know. I'm just like not enthused. I'm just not enthused. Um, I really, honestly, movies aren't even like my thing for real, for real. Like, why the fuck do I want to go sit up in a room with a bunch of strangers looking at a big ass screen about something I don't want to see anyway? I don't want to see it. The last movie that I enjoyed was um the Bob's Burgers movie. I see. So if I was to want to see Megan, um, I'm just not. I'm just not enthused. Like, like I'm so tempted to just like lay here, make some TikToks or something because my eyebrows look good today. But I'm just. 
I'm not there. There's just like so much stuff that else I could be doing. Like I just, oh uh, girl, I'm trying to piece together an outfit, put an outfit on, and then going there. And also, like I've just realized, like you know, like I've learned. Um, let me show y'all real quick. I've learned so much through just like taking time out to journal, like my little personal Bible study that I've been doing. Like I just, I'm just not in the headspace to just like do anything anymore. Like, what is it doing for me? That's where I'm at with, like, everything, like, like, I really, what I really want to do, I really just want to go to, like, a paint and sip, or, you know, like, the one I went to in New York, that one was fun, because it was still, it was sprinkled with a little bit of hood, but it wasn't too hood, it was still bougie, that's all I want to do, I want to, like, go, like, make rugs, but I also want to go on, like, a, I want to go on, like, a real, like, old school date. Like, I've never had one of those. Like, I want to go, like, I want to get picked up. I don't want to, like, fucking link or, like, we go to get, no. I want to get fucking picked up in, like, a fucking black truck. I want flowers. Um, You know, I want to be, like, wined and dined, not just fucking, fucking dined and fucked. Like, I don't, I don't want that. That's just, like, not, it's just, like, not appealing to me. Like, I just... I just don't see myself having a good time. Like, and I fall asleep during movies. Like, I, I don't have, I don't have a, I don't have like a, a, a big attention span to sit in movies. Like, I, I just, I just don't. And then, and then the thought of like actually seeing like, you know, like he want to see like fucking Avatar or fucking some bullshit. I, fuck three, four hour movies. Like, I lose my shit like I literally I cannot and I think that's why I think that's why I enjoy like YouTube so much and that's why I also I think I like enjoy like my own personal like vlogs and shit because it's just like it's just me and like wherever my mind goes that's where that's where it goes and that's where we're at like you know what I mean like I just I cannot sit still that long like I can, I can barely watch TV here without I can't even stay on a phone call without circling the house a couple times because it's like I have to remind myself like what I'm not I like check and make sure that i'm alive because what what am i doing like why what am i doing like what are we doing here you know the more i'm the more i'm sitting here and i, I don't got like comfortable with my ass and sunk back into my comfy bed and shit the more i sit here the more i realize it it is it, just it's just not looking good for me honestly um i don't feel like there's no pressure or nothing like that because i don't because i already said like i mm, But I also don't want to look like I just, like, did not show up, you know, like, but I also don't want to fake it, but I also made myself very clear because I'm a very effective communicator. I made myself very clear, like, I just don't want to fucking go, and I um... This isn't like fun for me, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not saying like I'm too good for like movies or something like that. Like that's not the case. But like what I'm saying is like this just like does not enthuse me. Like what the fuck are we gonna do? And don't fucking touch me. Like what what are we what are we what are we doing here? How did we get here, Erica? Like I just don't want to go I don't want to go like I need to smoke or something like, I, like I'm getting anxiety really like forcing myself to go like why is that why is that like like I don't want to I don't want to do this like I want to go somewhere I want to do something I haven't done before like you know what I mean like I want to like see some shit you know what I'm saying I want to see something that's going to make me like freaking think or something you know I want to do something fun something hands on like a I, I don't know like some something I ain't never done before you know like cuz this is not giving like Brows look good though. Someone deserves to see these eyebrows. That would be like my motivation for like getting up. But it's a little dark right here. Why is it so dark? Okay. Oh, why this looks so dark right in here? Okay, that's much better. But yeah, yeah, like. I 
Like, I'm really trying to, like, convince myself to get up. Cause you know y'all can't see me you can't see girl i'm fuckwoodable period no i'm kidding um i don't know why i put these glasses on i think because i like i ain't put no effort in or whatever um like i didn't really like do my hair either so i literally took my bonnet off and brushed it and here we are um i don't know i'm just here i'm just existing at this point you know um and yeah so on the way On the way, bitch. All right, so y'all, like, tried to go in here. I don't know if I got social anxiety. I don't know what it is. Um, it's so many. <clears throat> so the Avatar movie, I guess that's what the kids here for. Y'all, I walked in there, seen all them goddamn look like 13, 12, 14 year old boys. They seen me. I said, girl, I walked the hell out. I said, oh hell no, I can't. I can't be in here with this. And then I seen a girl. She was giving me fucking snake eye with fucking yellow yarn braids that she tried to make people think was blonde box bro. I ain't talking about nobody, but I just, I just can't. I, it, it just seemed like a recipe for for disaster for me. Like y'all, like I, li I literally want to crawl into a ball. Like I mean, oh, oh, I mean, oh, the children. This what he had. This what he had. They came, they came to fill up this damn movie theater. I was like, damn, everybody here to see me. I'm like, damn, what the fuck going on? Like what the. I, I don't see I don't see the attraction like I just don't but anyway you know everybody I just I just couldn't y'all I, mm, 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 mm. I say oh hey I'm not y'all I skedaddle right on out of here mm, 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 mm. y'all had called my best friends calm me down came out here hit my pen and I'm back all right but you know I just I just couldn't do it guys like oh mm, mm. just just whatever me um I hit an ambulance. Mm. But yeah, y'all. So here we go now. Um, shit. I just, you know, so I'm not I guess I'm gonna go get some need something, but um, it just, it just, I just, I just lit, I literally like I could not like. Mm -mm, mm -mm, so, um, I guess I'm gonna, I guess just gonna get a little, a little bite to eat. I really. It really is just, and also I don't even know. Oh, no, no. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, I also just don't. I ain't got a taste for shit. What sound like they getting close or something? Like damn, yeah. It just ain't nothing good to eat out here no more. Like I just. I'm just. I'm just. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know if that's cool or whatever, but I really just want to walk around Target. Like, I, that, that's 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 a that's a link to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, who child? I just wish y'all could just see it. Like, I don't. I think it's against the law to like film children or whatever. But like, y'all, I flip this motherfucker around. Like, y'all, this shit. These these the cars line up like this a motherfucking car lot school pickle. Like, goddamn, like, I'm fucking looking crazy. See, like, my problem is, I guess I was fast or whatever as a kid. Like, I used to lie and say I was going to the movies. Oh, I was going off to be with me. I was, I was, like, I was, I was, mm -mm, mm -mm. but don't make that, like, not to say, like, I was just a hoe or nothing like that. You know, I was just, I just had bigger things. <laughs> so I was all worried about my dog, like, mm -mm. I, when I wanted to skip and go see a movie, oh, I was doing that during the day when I'm supposed to be in class. Mm -mm. And nighttime, oh, when the grown folks out, oh, I was out too, baby. Trust and believe that. Um, yeah, nah, it just 
just letting us hang in, y'all. It's not fucking good, man. I guess I'm gonna go to Chick fil A uh, to figure out what the fuck finna go down. I really finna go home. Like, this just, this done done it for me. I'm gonna have the goddamn gone home. I should stayed in the damn house. And crazy part, I knew, I knew, I knew it was gonna be something like something said, This ain't what you want, dog. <laughs> this ain't what you want. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I am in um, Chick-fil-A drive through Like, whenever I get stressed, I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to put y'all on game real quick, okay? You go to Starbucks, order a brownie warm, and then go to Chick-fil-A and get a cup of ice cream, and I promise you, you don't want to eat my cooch. Like, I promise you, because that's just how fire it is. And if you really, like, down in the dumps, like, ask Chick-fil-A to add chocolate to your ice cream, I'm not that depressed, so I ain't gonna do that. But you know, like I, I am making my little mm, feel good Sunday or whatever. That's what I, we gonna call it. Um, but yeah, like can we just fucking talk a minute? So I didn't want to do this anyway. Like I didn't want to come out anyway. Um, you know, and I'm not, I'm not the person to sit here and like lead someone on either. Like I'm just not in the headspace to do that. Um, I'm really like focusing back on me and. <coughs> um yeah like right now i'm at the headspace like you don't want these problems big fella you don't you don't um not to like talk down on myself but like boy hey, bitch i've been through a lot lately you know what i'm saying so i'm just not in the headspace like where i want to like put anybody in there or like you know like deal with anyone else's when i'm still dealing with myself because like I, I, I just my, I'm, I'm at maximum capacity right now like I can't I, I literally cannot and that's just like not fair to somebody that I'm with um so you know I like to be upfront and honest about all of those things it's just who I am it's what I do whatever how have you how whatever have you um so yeah that's kind of like just like where I'm at y'all um oh the hands look cute um but yeah <laughs> needless to say this will be another Valentine's Day coming up without roses on the bed with the balloons in the hair um i just i'm just i just don't know i just don't know y'all like uh i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know it's just been a such a weird start to 2023 like such a weird start like such a weird start um I really don't even know like where shit stands with a lot of things and that's okay like I don't I don't know if that's weird or not to say but like there's a lot of things still in the air there's a lot of things that still haven't been said that should be said to me but nothing has been said to me um that's great thank you I you too Um, hey, check out my fucking chicken nuggets. Make sure they're fresh. And this bitch. But yeah, y'all. Uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, just. Oh, goodness gracious, y'all. Oh, I ain't. I got to find the damn light, y'all. I'm so sorry. I. I be in bed at nighttime, y'all. Like I be in the house already. So this is this is. But that's okay. I'm getting better. I'm getting back out there. Um. So I'm, I'm gonna pick back up my vlog game. I don't, I don't know why I ain't put the damn light on, but that's okay. Cause I'm finna sit right here and eat this goddamn food. And I'm finna talk to y'all, and goddamn it, that's just finna be what it's gonna be. Period. What the fuck are you doing? Like goddamn, what drinks did you have, bitch? And who the fuck is that? Whew. All right, y'all. I'm sorry about the weird angling. Um, this is about as best as this gonna get, bitch. But yeah, so you get your Chick Fil A ice cream. This is our little event session for the day. Like, we gonna sit here. We gonna eat this goddamn shit, and we just gonna feel fucking better. Um, yeah, I'm not sad about today though. Like, I, I, I feel nothing. Like, try to make up for it. Try to still go in there. I just couldn't do it. We gonna go somewhere else. I was like, no. Mm -mm, I'm ready to go. I'm so sorry. Uh -oh. Chopped it up for a little bit. 
It's so good to see you. What you trying to do? I'm trying to go the fuck on. Trying to get on. But yeah. So, what I like to do. I rip my bag open. You can put this in here if you want to. That's just not me. You know, I don't like it. Yeah, okay. So, damn. The light I was using for my phone is dead. Um. And I ain't got no fucking tripod, so might as well cut the shit off too, cause it probably ain't even making no difference. But yeah, um, this one is this. This is a fucking podcast. Um, I'm just this is just not not how my night was supposed to go. I don't. I don't. Imagine me eating ice cream and I'm brining right now. That's literally all I'm doing. Um. I'm just um, who knows who knows y'all this could just be the onset onto something magical I just I don't, I don't you ever just like not have words I just don't have words and that's a lot for me because I always got something to say always 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 got something to say and i just have nothing to say right now like girl oh y'all i'm gonna keep on doing these weekly vlogs but this shit finna get real fucking boring because y'all gonna be tired of me sitting here eating at this point this is all like why the fuck is a fucking fit car coming and now i i'm just so yeah, y'all. Yeah, let me tell y'all what happened. Went in there, full of kids. I said, "Uh, uh-uh, I can't do it." Oh, I uh -huh. chopped up a little bit. I was not feeling that either because the bitch is cold outside. It's literally fifty degrees out, and where I'm from, that is fucking frostbite weather, bitch. Okay, I'm from the south. I'm uh, I'm used to eighty degree days all the time. Oh, uh, uh. It's dark. I really ain't want to come in the first place, but you know, whatever. But I went because, you know, a uh, super nice guy just doesn't want to be an asshole. So I went. More store. And now I am eating ice cream and Starbucks brownie in my car. At 10 o'clock at night. And, yeah. <sighs> I just, I just don't, I just, this, I don't know about y'all, but the start of 2023 been just really, really different for me, like, yes, things are going good, but at the same time, things are, like, really awkward, I don't know, I don't know if that's what change feel like, I don't know if that's what healing feel like, you know, like, I know how, like, you know, you, you be feeling weird about some shit right now, and then you realize, oh my god, this is God working in the skies, but god damn it, now, I'm just, I've been feeling really weird. Like, I've been working on being so much more consistent with everything, like planning shit out and everything. So, y'all, I just, oh Lord. These don't even look like fucking waffle fries. These look like waffle nuggets, but it's okay. I am. Um, And don't judge me, bitch. Judge your mama. Because now I do not put no sauce on my nuggets. Like, I, I hate sauce. I hate sauce. I don't put sauce on my food at hibachi. I don't put sauce on shit. I just don't like it. And actually, I'm going to tell y'all what I found out two days ago. Chick-fil-A is cooked in fucking pickle juice, bitch. And who the fuck knew that? Like, that got me looking at this food so different. I mean, I'm going to still eat it, but, like, damn, I don't even like pickles. So, I mean, like, do I like pickles because I like Chick-fil-A? Like, who knows? Who knows? I just don't know. I don't know. Like, where do we, where do we go from here, y'all? <laughs> like, 
Where does your girl go from here? This is just the stupidest day of my year so far. I mean, we literally seven days in. Seven days in. And I didn't get home to super late last night, so I couldn't journal. But I did have my little Bible study or whatever. But I couldn't journal like I wanted to last night. So, I had a lot of shit to write about today, though. Good God. Good mother loving God. Uh, oh, my tram, bling, you know, whatever. Nah, but for y'all. So, since we're on like the topic or whatever. I really do just want to talk to y'all because I know y'all saw the girl on TikTok. Um, my bad, y'all. But I know you saw this girl on TikTok or whatever, and she was like, um, you know, you could be perfect for a dude. You could be X, Y, Z. You can cook clean, all that shit. You know, basically, be, you know, be the perfect girl. Come home, shut up, fuck, shut up and fuck up. You know, we don't, we know the whole you know, now you'd be perfect for a man, but she was basically saying that, you know, if he's not ready, he's not ready. And men go for, um, basically like whenever he's ready, whatever is the first thing accessible to him at the time, that's what he goes to. And that's what he marries and everything like that. That's what she was basically saying. Now, I don't know how y'all feel about that. Honestly, personally, I feel like what she's saying has a point and I, and I, and I believe it to an extent, but also at the same time, like. You can't always put everything on these dudes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like us as a society has lost so much accountability in ourselves. Like, when is everyone going to start holding themselves accountable for, like, your part and what went wrong with some shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, when are you going to realize, okay, yes, maybe he didn't want to marry me because I got motherfucking trust issues or I got motherfucking daddy problems or I got motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, or maybe you come with too much personal baggage because, you know, like, personally, I believe, like, if you marry someone, you marrying all of them and all the things that come with them and the things that make them them and, you know, like, their family and shit, you know, like, their, their morals and beliefs. Like, if that, if that shit class with your shit that you go, that you believe in, it's just gonna, it's just never gonna work. So, you know, a part of me, I understand what you know she's saying. Like, you know, oh, he ain't ready. You don't give a damn. Like, okay, you ready, but you forcing a relationship. You know what I'm saying? That's just like with anything. I mean, I get that, but... I just, I just look at shit differently, you know what I'm saying? Like, or, um, you know what I mean? Like, if he wants to, he will. Period. Like, men, no. Women, no, too, for that matter. I mean, you know, within, I don't want to say, like, first five minutes, but, you know, you you know within the first five minutes of meeting someone, talking to someone, if you will ever talk to them again. You know that. So the ladies, y'all especially know that because, you know, we'll give a nigga a fake name or fake number in a heartbeat. You know what I'm saying? That's just like with them. So I don't really know why there's such a different standard when it comes to that and why everyone want to act so fucking clueless when it comes down to the situation at hand. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so, it's just so different, you know? And it's just like, there's no, there's just no girl code in anything that's done anymore. And I don't know if it's influenced by like the city girl culture, even though I don't even know why y'all want to listen to them because neither one of the damn city girls living to what the fuck they see. I, well, maybe because they don't write their own shit, but that's another motherfucker topic <laughs> but you know like i feel like it's just so everyone wants to be like oh bitch i'll take y'all man da -da 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 -this. you know like i might say that shit in passing as a joke and i might say that shit joking about like, y'all here but that shit is just like not cute to me why the fuck i want to take somebody else man because if i could take him he was never yours baby he was never yours and if you know what i'm saying like in the same way i took him from you bitch some some other hoe will take him from me and i just i just can't go for shit like that and i just never will and i just there's just nothing cute about that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I just, I don't know. Shit just so different nowadays. Like, you just, you just don't never know. You just don't know if you're motherfucking coming or going, bitch. Like, but I just feel like everyone needs to be more accountable for their part when it comes to interacting with other humans because you don't realize how that shit trickles down and can affect so many different things. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it does like that shit weighs different this shit really affects like it, it's just, i don't know if i really be making sense when i start trying to get a little deeper with y'all and talk about some real shit i don't even know do y'all like it when i try to talk about real shit but 
y'all ain't ready for the shit that I be really, 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 really be wanting to say for real, for real. Like, I'll get canceled before I even get 100% on. It's just like, God damn it. That's just, that's just what it is, though, y'all. Like, be accountable for your shit. Like, me personally, like, if I even take the time to be for real with you and give you my actual name, my but if we're being fucking for real, I really don't want to be bothered by nobody. Cause bitch, I get offended if you motherfucking looking at me. Cause why the fuck are you looking at me? What the what the hell is you looking at? God damn boy, what is what is what is? I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I get I'm a pretty girl. You know what I'm saying? I get the whole pretty girl privilege. You know, I know that. I've been there. I've had that my whole life. But what actually is it? I got to get some gas, y'all. <laughs> um, what? What is it? I, I, I really don't. I, I really cannot stand for people to look at me like that. Shit pisses me off more than anything. Like I, I don't like it. I don't understand it. No, just don't look at me. <laughs> don't fucking look at me. Like even though I'm a fucking influencer, I'm on YouTube. Y'all are literally looking at me watching this video. But if you see me in person, bitch, don't stare at me. If you got, don't look at me. Just don't look at me. You know, if you're gonna look at me, you better come get ready to come say something to me. Cause why the fuck is you staring? I had someone explain it to me. Like you know, he got my my probably got a man at home. That don't mean he can't look at you. You know, like you can be window shopping and still not buy. Bitch, don't do it over here. Do I look like something that just sit on the shelf in the window to you? No. Bitch, this right here sell out every time. <laughs> and, and it don't restock neither. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? Like, I said all that to say what? <laughs> I, really, I don't even remember where I was going with that part of the thing. But just be, like, accountable, bro. Like, see me. Like, if I'm talking to you and I take you the time to really give you. Oh, that's where I was going with it. <laughs> If I really take time to give you my like my real name or whatever, and let alone my fucking phone number, dog, like I'ma be for real with you. I'm for real with everybody. I just feel like that's just me. Ooh. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, just got just be for real. Just be for real. Like, you know. I'm not saying that you know if you're going to want like a relationship out of people or whatever off the jump. But you know, if you see somebody that's trying to take real genuine interest, be fucking upfront and honest. Like, I don't I don't understand the problem with that. And and then, if people being upfront and honest with your ass, bitch, you need to, bitch, you need to listen. That go for you, dumb dumb. You know what I'm saying? That go for you, bitch. That... Okay, bitch, I'm focused. I'm talking to y'all now. Fuck, fuck these niggas out back here. Fuck them. Um, but, you know, like, dummy, if, if that nigga say he ain't, he ain't ready for that shit, don't push that shit on him because he ain't, he ain't ready. He telling you he ain't ready. You can't make him be ready even though, you know, the more you do for a nigga, that's just more you doing for You just... You doing all this for what? You look dumb. He ain't doing nothing talking about you to your friends. To his friends. You doing all X, Y, Z for the nigga and still gonna run off treat you like a damn dog. Why? Because he said he ain't want it. He said that this is not what he wanted. But and then also sometimes you got to use your damn brain too because you can do all this after a nigga said he wants you. He doing that just to hold on to your ass. And females too. <laughs> Be careful with these girls, you know. Be careful. Know, know yourself and know who the fuck you around. Because sometimes, you know, your, your so-called friends don't be the main ones trying to plotting on your nigga. Because she too busy. She bitter because she ain't got no man. She trying to figure out, damn, why why so-and-so? Why Erica man treat her like this? Why he doing like that? I'm trying to figure out what the fuck that be like. Be, with me, be very, very, very mindful. You know what I'm saying? Like, know your real friends that's what i'm trying to say like you know the ones that always have something negative to say you know like no ever see the good in your man why you why you want to see them apart now sometimes you know you you be so blinded by love you know only your friend can really see the truth in a nigga and you just blinded by love that's the difference but you know there's a difference in you know like them talking about somebody because they see the best in you and they don't want you to be sitting here with nobody that's fucking beating you or abusing you or using you so you fucking ain't got shit left and someone that's just wanna like nick and pick at every fucking thing you got going on in your relationship because they ain't got nobody they miserable so you need to be miserable 
You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? Is that making, is that making a lick of sense? <laughs> but that's just the, I don't know I don't know 2023 I just want y'all to just fucking really grasp hold of reality I feel like so many people have lost hold of reality and just living out here fucking delusion it just don't make no motherfucking sense cause like why the, who, who the fuck is you lying to why is you lying there's a difference in like you know living and like working to manifest you know what I'm saying what you want in life so you know you're moving accordingly and just being an outright fucking liar Cause stay the fuck away from me with that weird ass shit. And that go for any, any, each and any, anybody that got something to you. You got them stay, you, stay the fuck away from me. Cause all that ain't called for. I done let so much bullshit and people go that I had to really. And some of them really took me a really hard time to grasp. Like, this person ain't shit. <laughs> like, really like learning and truly like being a hundred percent. Like, like, Wow. You ain't shit. You ain't. That go for family, friends, lovers, whatever. Please tell y'all love us and friends. Now, Usher John Luther had to do it again. <laughs> oh, y'all ain't fucking with y'all. ain't fucking with y'all. ain't fucking with y'all, y'all. Oh, this is a short vlog this week, y'all. Like, this is pretty much, this is the end of my week. I'm gonna go home and edit. Um, I just... I don't know. I don't know. Um, but you also have to like move with grace. Like tonight it was really like me showing myself, like, okay, Erica, just move in grace. You you actually came out, you know what I'm saying? Like you were here, you were present. You ever saw some grace? Like that was a lot for you. That was a lot for me. <laughs> like, who is um <laughs> um say so, yeah. this is my problem like so I'm a people watcher and I do that for my own safety um I'll be getting so distracted that's why it'd be really hard for me to vlog like I don't know if it's like my attention span just really real life fucked up and I just cannot focus or like, I be trying to motherfucking make sure a bitch is good. You understand what I'm saying? Like, because I notice everything. Like, I notice everything. I notice it all. So, but yeah, y'all. I love you guys so much. Thank you for listening to my fucking vent session. Hopefully, it made some sense. If it didn't, it just felt good to let it out. Shit. I don't, I don't know. Um, I love y'all. And I will see you in the next video. Who knows what that'll be? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows anything? Now, you is too short to be whooping around like that, that damn fast now. Y'all see him when he pulled up right here behind me? You you is, you is fucking three nine, sir. What a motherfucking... Uh. <sighs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>
What you trying? Let me stop, y'all. I am on a, I am on a self journey, bitch. I can't open this. Okay. It's ping like my poom poom. The hell? I can show these on YouTube. Okay. Y'all hear it? Okay. Messed that one. That's a lot for a drugstore, y'all. I ain't bad for no $40. This is literally like 30. What is it? Come on. Oh, they emailed me my receipt. Y'all, this was bad for a little. I think it was like $36, $38. And then I had got, um, I didn't know smart water has alkaline water. And when I drink alkaline waters, I just feel like I'm a clean, healthy bitch. Like, flooded. <laughs> flooded. You, you don't know what you're missing over here, my dog. And then what else I bought? Um, I bought some candy. Some gummy. Some gushy gummies. Because, bitch, I'm gummy and gushy. Amen. Yeah. Amen, bitch. Amen. So, I'm just going to put all this back in here. This might be a this might be a part. This girl, we might get a new segment on this channel, child. Reviewing the reviews, bitch. If you understand, you understand. Eighteen and up, my guy. Eighteen and up. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I find now, <laughs> bitch. We finna have. We might finna have us a good night. All right, y'all, so I just got back home. Um, this really concludes the end of the video. I have to spend the night editing um, these videos for y'all. Um, so, yeah, this is the end of my adventure for this week. Thank y'all so much. I love you guys, and I don't think I'm going to put, you know, shout out to the test tonight. You know, she she cute. She hot pink and everything. Um, we got to come up with her a name, a little name for her or something, like... You know, and yes, it's a hurt because you niggas just don't be stroking it right for me no more. Like, I don't know if that mean I got to put a rainbow in my bio. So be it. But yeah, it's a girl. I don't know what I'm going to call her. I think I'm going to call her like, she need like a stripper name or something like delicious, you know, or like, I don't know, fucking Chanel or something. I don't know what we going to call her, but y'all come up with her name mm -hmm. that's what that's what y'all homework is but yeah y'all this really is the end of the vlog like yeah sure very uh very um uneventful evening if you will say for the least but whatever y'all i love you guys see y'all in the next video Damn, my eyebrows look good today. God damn. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all my social platforms. Love ya.